the Huey is arguably the most iconic image of Vietnam. When you think about all those images coming home uh, to the home front, you know, on the nightly news, it was Hueys dropping off people and things like that. So I think it was a no-brainer for us that we wanted Huey. We also wanted one that had been in combat, and that's getting harder and harder to get. We called Dave and Paula, and I just asked for some guidance. And Dave uh, just said, well, I've got an old B model that flew three tours in Vietnam, you want it? This aircraft was built in 65. It's a Bravo model or B model Huey. So it's a little shorter, a little underpowered compared to the, the later ones. This aircraft went to the 121st Assault Helicopter Company out, out of Sok Trang. And, uh, it wore a couple different uh, paint jobs. Uh, when the 116th, it was known as the Hereafter. When it went to the 121st, it originally carried uh, artwork that was calling it the Good Widow Mrs. Jones. And then it mainly carried the Viking artwork, how you uh, see it displayed in the exhibit. We are a PTSD outreach. We take surplus army aircraft or surplus military aircraft, um, bring them into the hangar and with our volunteers who are veterans, volunteers who are supporters, um, we put the aircraft together and then we take them out to different ex exhibits and veterans events and try and connect the families and the veterans with the services that are offered through the other agencies and show them the avenues that they can use to get the help that they need. The process from once we get it as a skeleton aircraft went into a lot of fabrication work, kind of like a, an old pair of shoes. It's not necessarily going to fit somebody else, so we have to shape those panels to be able to fit this aircraft. Replacing a lot of the gauges and things that were taken out um, during the process of it being stripped and used for other aircraft, and then the actual priming and painting of the aircraft. So there was a lot of work that went into it just to get it to this point. And we're just very lucky to have it. We're lucky to have Dave and Paula Barron and, and Pat Rogers and all of the amazing people who stepped forward to help save this airframe. This aircraft would have just lived its life out in the boneyard, probably got parted out, um, but because people like Dave and Paula uh, and Pat believed in this project, uh, we were able to bring it here. So now we have the Huey uh, on display. It's been here for about two years fully open. My favorite thing about exhibits is you don't put up an exhibit and then it just, you're done. Exhibits grow, and that's what this is doing. Uh, just recently, we hosted the reunion of the 121st Assault Helicopter Company, and while they were here, so many of them knew that this aircraft was here, so they brought with them photo albums and artifacts to see if we would want them. One of the most powerful things I think we got was this gentleman had an original Viking nose art uh, panel and it was from the front of his Huey when he left Vietnam, he took it with him. He said, do you want it? I was speechless. And I said, you know, absolutely. And then he got emotional because he said, you know, I don't have any family. And I was just assuming that eventually this was gonna end up in a dump. And it means the world to me to know that it's gonna be in a museum. It's our chance to talk to more Vietnam vets, have them come in showing their kids and grandkids what they did during Vietnam. Um, it's opening up the stories, talking to those guys, understanding what they went through, what their life experiences were like. That's the biggest thing, to paint the picture for other people who maybe never heard of Vietnam. Show them at least one example of what a bunch of 19-year-old kids took in the combat, uh, how they kept it flying, some of their life experiences, and maybe how we can learn from them.